Ah, oh, good morning. It's mad early. It's like 6.30 in the morning. Ern and Sager are gonna be here in a minute. So I gotta get dressed. I gotta make a smoothie. Uh, get Omar situated. And get out of here. And I got like 10 minutes. So. All right, homie. Hold it down, okay? I'll be back. Hey. Slow for the morning. No, I'm good. Hey, hey you're hey. dropping my boots. It's bad luck. Hello. What up? What's up? How are you? Only 35 minutes behind schedule. That's not a big deal. It's seven ish. Mm. Ish. So as long as it's before eight, yeah. we're good. Sager. What up? Special appearance. Yeah. People thought you were dead, dog. They were wrong. <laughs> yeah, so I gotta get a pair of socks anyway because I only found one sock this morning. Me too. So annoyed, I found I found one glove and one sock. And I was like, all right, tight. I'm ready for my snowboard boots not to fucking break my toes. Is it, uh, where they kind of fucked up to break in? It is so fucking stiff, dude. Like, but I think the boost will help with jumps, like landing. I think that's like the only real like benefit of it. Obviously, you're not gonna feel it riding. I want to break them in and go hit these fucking 20 foots real quick so I can give them a solid review today. So I need somebody to go ahead and get the shot. GoPro, I don't know how much charge it has, but I have it. I brought three extra batteries. <laughs> batteries you bring, right? One. Well, oh, at least you brought one. Baby you racers, bro, they had to cop. I kept thinking I was tripping. I'm hitting refresh because the main screen says coming soon, but in it it said they're available. I like how you're like tripping. You're like excited that a non-hype shoe released six hours early. <laughs> <laughs> you're like hyped about it. Like, oh shit. I opened the back door. <laughs> Literally never except that time when my mom got in trouble. This is why you're fucking paranoid now, because you feel like you got away with shit for so long. Yeah, I made it. No, and I, not to be on some anti-police craziness, but like, I look back and I think that when I got popped with pot, like, and illegally searched, the whole shit was so, it made me paranoid. I realized right then and there, like, your freedom could be taken from you for no reason. You also were doing something illegal. You that I was doing something <laughs> illegal, dude. Yeah, but you just said your freedom was being taken for no reason. Like no. Carrying illegally. Across yeah, but, a bridge yeah. in a backpack yeah, but, from a fucking broken down car, if I remember the story. No, a uh, taxi cab guy was yeah. falling asleep. But the yeah. point is, the police report said that I was walking down the road with the bag open, like looking at two pounds. Like, I'm you just, probably were. I was not. I heard I met you. Dude, it's not, it's not true. It's not out of your character to be like you have gotten two pounds dude. and you got a bag and you be walking down the street like I just want to look at it one no, more time. No, I'm not, dude. <laughs> you can't just run up on someone and be like, open your bag. I mean, you can, but I get, I get it. I mean, I get that the judicial system is fucked up, which we all know. Yeah. Which is why we don't walk down the street with two pounds of weed in a backpack. What do you, like, where do you, how do you move it? Yeah. Well, are you fucking kidding me? It's how a backpack do you move about it? a college campus. How do you move Any it? other fucking way. Dude, I don't know. Put it in some pizza what, boxes. You're acting like walking around with a backpack. I lived at a college campus. Everyone had backpacks. Why is the there campus? two pounds in the backpack? Because I was supposed to get 10, and that's all my man had. <laughs> Grab these two, just come back tomorrow. He probably set you up. Or they were watching he, that fool. No, yeah, they were watching. watching I'll tell you what happened. They, I think they were watching the house that I went well, there to. There you go. Doesn't fit your narrative, dog. But the police report that he wrote did not know, Brad. Don't. <laughs> this is, I work. No. This is serious no. shit. Oh, this is the same gas station we went to last time. I love it here. <laughs> oh, this is the same quaint little gas station we went to last time. Stop it goes, let me look in your bag. I go, no, you have no right. He goes, put it on the ground. I go, I'm not trying to be a dick. I just, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm going home. I'm a college student. He goes, open the bag. I said, I don't no. think you're doing it that car. <laughs> or coffee and shake. So I don't think when the dude pulled you over for the, weed, they, when you had two, motherfucker, you had two pounds in your fucking backpack and you expect me to think that you were composed while he talked <laughs> to a police officer. Is this what you're, the story you're trying the to tell? The first 30 seconds, I was composed. You aren't composed ordering at Burger King. He just opened the bag. He mm -hmm. just opened it. And he That's goes, where a good lawyer comes He in. goes, is this why? And then he cuffed me. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yep, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> so. Scared. When I was a kid, I used to sleep with a cowboy hat and a baseball bat. Jesus Christ. Is it yesterday I was talking shit about how you cracked your phone? Yeah. Then yesterday I was watching your fucking live stream and dropped my phone and cracked the fucking phone. Oh shit. And I was like, God damn it. That's so, why you disappeared out of it. Well, here we are. There's a snow behind me. The sun looks beautiful up there in the mountain. Oh, those are gonna be nice up there. We out here. Did I do the blue ones or the red? 
that a snowboard jacket? Yeah. Oh yeah, I hear it fit it up. Height B sleeper cell. That got that Addy J. Get that blunt. <laughs> Off cam? I can't see! Go that way, it's fine. to spray you with snow. Oh. The mountain waiting on Ern and Sager and Brandy. We split up. Back to the car first. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna take all these boots off. Hope y'all are ready for this look. It's coming back, son. Killing them. They must have run into some trouble because uh, I've been sitting in this car now for at least 45 minutes. Hey, he's here. They're on the gondola. Oh. Then leave your board there. I'll take care of it. There's the water for you. Brown. Have you ever had them? Yeah. No, no, he hasn't had these. But have you ever had them? No. I'm and not. you've never had these. They're the same. How do you know if you've never had them? Wait, you I've gotta show. Them. It's the about? same thing that we've had. Pretty good. What do you get? Can't be good. They're really good. Chicken fries. Frame a hot cheetah. You've never had them. You just want really We baked them in our own oven. They're not wrong. Which ones are better, Aaron? No, these are better. These are better. All right. You know this for a fact. Brian, these are better. <laughs> Brian, these are better. Uh, today was fun. Uh, it was a good time. The Snowware Mountain. I am completely beat. I just got out of the shower. Just got home. I've got still plenty to do. So I'm gonna make this kind of short and sweet. But uh, a <clears throat> couple of things. Uh, tonight there's actually a surprise mystery bag restock. We miscounted. We, so uh, there's each size. It's not nearly as large as the last mystery bag stock. Not even close. Not even a fraction. But there are some. As you're watching this. You probably want to go to oitsteddy.com and check out a mystery bag if they're still available. We're also doing the Dirty Urn Manager Special, uh, which this month will be the Windbreakers. There are only 20 in stock, and um, yeah, and then the EDs are stock on Sunday. Merch stuff's out of the way. Appreciate your support as always. Love you guys, and uh, you know, you give me the opportunity to create freely, which is fucking awesome. So, I love you. But, 
snowboarding, da 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 da. Everyone wants me to review the snowboard boots that I got. Uh, we didn't do an on feet for them, like we just didn't, um, because I really didn't even really plan on reviewing them tonight. But after today, I feel like I can give you a better idea. Um, even though I'm not really like 100% sure these fit me. So normally snowboard boots are really, really just like not comfortable, you know, most of the time they're super stiff until you break them in. And uh, you know, when you're trying on a snowboard boot, people say that your toes should basically be touching across the front of the boot um, or the liner of the boot, I mean, maybe with a little bit of room. Mine are seriously touching and it's fine when I'm standing there or doing whatever. With snowboarding, when you go into your toes, it's pretty uncomfortable. So, but that's not because of the boots make. I just think it's just a little bit too small for me. I think I need like a 12 and a half and I don't even know if I'll be able to get one. I'm in a dilemma even though I really like this boot for other reasons but um, that part of it is just kind of whack. Which is called the Adidas Acera, I think it's Acera, ADV and this is the 2017-2018. So this is the outer boot. It has a dual boa um, and those of you that don't know about snowboarding so a lot of people don't like the boa. You know I'm talking, some of you know who I'm talking, some of you know I'm talking to you because you give me shit. But uh, the dual boa is something that I've always just really liked because it's techy, you know, and then that basically just means you don't have laces and you just click this and then turn and it tightens here and then you on this side you click this and then turn it and it tightens there and that's how you get it to fit. Um, I will say for fully uh, like custom fitting boa is not the way to go. Lacing is still 100% going to give you a better fit. But me and snowboard boots, we battle. Made with pretty nice materials, all leather, uh, gold three stripes. We have the inner sock pull. This tightens the sock liner in the boot. This little system here that helps constrict everything. Then of course boost and then there's like a torsion system and this is great. The trail sole is great for like hiking, like not that you're gonna go hiking in this boot, but you know when you're snowboarding sometimes you gotta hike a line or get to a place where you're not and you can't get on your snowboard. So this is nice and also nice for walking into the parking lot and not slipping. And then boost. So most people are like, oh man, how's the boost? How's the boost? Um, it's boost, but it's not. Like, it's a snowboard boost. So this is like nice and rigid and stiff and not in any way like, you know, this is not PK upper, just so you know, in case you didn't notice that. But you're not, you know, the boost really only comes into play when you're jumping or, or landing, so to speak. You're really not gonna feel it. There's really no bounce. There's nothing like that, nor would you really want any, I don't think. But really the only time they feel that is just landing. So, um, which is nice, you know, like I like it. I like, I mean, I like that I get to wear boost on the mountains, so. even though it's killing my toes right now. But yeah, so that's the outer part of the boot, which is super nice. Um, just a, it's just a nice, you know, snowboard boots are generally made of these types of materials. So nothing like crazy special about this part. Um, nice boot nonetheless. And then the inner sock liner, which looks like this. This is the most fire release of the year right here. This would be the, uh, this is the new NMD hike. Hi. <laughs> no, this is the inner sock liner. So this is what that looks like. Um, this is also heat moldable. So this can be molded to your foot with heat. You can also just wear it. I don't ever really go that far. I'm not like that thorough with it. So I've never had anything heat molded or anything like that, but it can be done. This is the gold level, which is, I mean, it's the highest level you can get. I don't know, it's just Adidas has these levels and then uh, there's silver and gold. And I think the only thing that I've really noticed between silver and gold is there seems to be like a little toothing, I don't know if that's the right word, uh, on the inside of this that kind of grabs your sock a little bit better, but that's really it. You know, it's like nothing, nothing too crazy, I don't think. And then this is not boost, this is just a hard outsole that sits on the bottom, and then this of course slides in, and you know, Vel Velcro. No laces, no lacing system. City sock. No one of the fucking Rey Mysterio city sock. Um, but yeah, and then gold Adidas branding. But this thing, you know, when I put this on, it's like perfect. Like my foot is like right there. Maybe I should just cut some holes in there and have my toes dangling, dangling out. Maybe that's the move. But yeah, like they're comfortable. Snower boots, generally, you find these little areas. You get like a foot cramp or something's uncomfortable. Um, a lot of times it's in the bend of the boot, like right in here, you won't get, this is stiff. So you get a lot of discomfort here. That I didn't notice with this boot. This boot does not feel uncomfortable. I didn't notice any of those things with this. Like literally the only complaint that I have is that my, it just seems like it's like a little bit too small, you know, or, or my foot's a little too big. I'm really hoping I can break them in because I don't think I'm gonna get a bigger size. And also, um, yeah, I don't wanna deal with it. There's an insole in here too. You can take out the insole, which I thought I was gonna do, but there's a nice little, there's some arch support there. 
which makes a huge difference. When I take out, out the insole, it feels like my uh, toes are busting straight through, which I know makes no sense, but that arch makes a huge difference. Well, that's the Adidas Acera Boost Boot. No boost boot. Where is my boost boot? It's I'm, I'm hype, but it's also like snowboard boots again. Like I'm, I've only had like, and none of them have been really super comfortable. So this is still like I'm still at the trials with this one. I'm, I'm really hoping that um, they just break in and that I, I love them. We'll see. They've only been on the mountain three days, and sometimes it's hard to judge. But right now they're killing. But they're still comfortable. I know that makes no sense whatsoever, but. I've explained it. Um, these I don't think are available. I don't know. Like I, yeah, I honestly don't know. They sold out on Adidas in a couple of days and then have pretty much disappeared off the internet as far as I've seen. So, but also I haven't really been looking. So, best the ADV snowboard boot. Um, again, no one feet because you can just there's snowboard footage. I'm sure my feet go by. And uh, yeah, so everyone else has a different boot. Like. Uh, Ernie's boot is completely different than my boot and so is I think Ernie and Sager have the same boot just different colors But it's the day. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm exhausted. I uh, will see you guys tomorrow Felt somewhere. We got anything else? Nope. Peace